Hi, Pounder folk. Welcome back to this. is going to be a very, very short video, um, mostly brought upon by a few questions we've had on the channel, plus then uh, a quick comment from my next door neighbour as well. God bless him. I got him into this sort of thing, and now he's brewing away quite happily. But he, he raised a question at the weekend about Space Hopper. So we've done everything. We've sterilised everything. We've got the room temperature water in here. The yeast are on, already brewing as per normal. So let me. What I'm going to do is just get the space hopper open. Now, another question we get asked was what type of brewing sugar do I use? Um, this is £6.99 on eBay, free delivery. It's a bag of Richie's brewing sugar, and I believe it is sucrose, isn't it? Dextrose. Dextrose. Not sucrose, dextrose. Thank you, honey. Well pointed out. See, trusty assistant, can't live without her. Not that we want to anyway, isn't that right, honey? <laughs> yes. So, the main difference between space hopper and all the rest is the thickness of the press. Now I've had this one out of the fridge and actually compared to others it's not actually that thick because some of them have been some of them have been really 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 gloopy but as you can see when you add it to the water it just shrinks or sinks straight to the bottom it is so thick so the amount of shaking you would need to do in the pounder to get that like that especially if you put on the dock that's going to go straight down into your dock it's not going to brew, and when you open, when open it, literally all you've got is slightly alcoholic flavoured water, because this stuff is going to come out of, out of your uh, dock and down the sink. So I thoroughly recommend that you uh, put in a jug like this first. I'll get that out of the way and give it. I mean that. <laughs> that's really thick. That's really thick. Give it a good whisk up first. Because that was like it's like a consistency of coffee. So the greater good, whilst I'm mixing this, have been on their uh, PR drive and advertising like crazy on Facebook. So tomorrow is a big day for number two, allegedly. So whether that's going to be a new upgraded version of the painter, uh, we will uh, wait and see tomorrow. But uh, in the meantime, uh, we uh, await with bated breath as to what it's going to be. So a big day tomorrow, uh, and then as well what we're going to do is uh, do a review. If whatever it is, we're going to find out what it is. Uh, if you just come that way, honey. There you go. It's got a. I'm just going to rinse this out into again. This, this is a bit of hot water. You could actually see it separating. You know, just after you whisked it, you could see it already yeah. starting to separate. Yeah, so it's it's really thick stuff. So don't don't please 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 do not put this straight into your finger. Pre-mix it outside, and then it requires a lot less effort than it would be trying to get that stuff to mix in your finger. So as I said, we've also got a video coming up. So please like and subscribe because Estelle and I are doing great, aren't we, honey? <laughs> what are we up to? I think it's five nineteen now. Five nineteen is the last time. So yeah. Really, really good. Uh, so thanks to you all for liking and subscribing. So there's plenty more videos to come because the greater good are always innovating and bringing out new brews and new stuff. So and finally, in go our friends. A little yeasties, well done. Doing a great job. Quick rinse out of that too. So yeah, our next video is we're going to see really how many pints does this make? By the time you remove the dock, and tap it and draw some off and throw that down the sink. How many pints do you really, really get? So Estelle and I, we're going to take one for the team. I'm going to try and drink all those 10 pints. I think we're doing that video on Friday. So properly. Well, like we're going to have to bottle some, to be honest. Maybe. Pretty good. Pretty <laughs> well, we suggest <laughs> that you always tap um, 48 hours before you intend to drink. So we're going to tap it. Wednesday night and then drink it well certainly pour all the pints on on Friday and see how many we can get so like I said normally both of us actually have jobs to go to well not on Saturday morning we don't no I mean like through the week well, we can't do it through yeah, the week, yeah. not through week so that's the cap on this is secure as per normal silicone grease all around the bits that come in contact don't forget because it makes life so much 
Hayden's here putting the dog on. It says Hayden. You had an angle. Horrocks of it. Where's that mug going down? Oh, that's it. The cap has popped up. Let's secure that down. Back on. Down with pressure. One finger. See? Always take your time. Always make sure that's lined up. Again, there we go. It's already been pre-mixed, so there's no real need to do that, but let's face hopper on and we'll uh, hopefully see you all on Friday for how many pints you get out of a pinter. Bye!